Researchers have found that a drug used to treat malaria can stop fears from forming in the brain. They believe the discovery could be helpful in treating anxiety disorders. ABC medical reporter Sophie Scott explains. Melbourne neuroscientists are working on an exciting new theory about how we experience fear. Some of the work that we are doing is to look at the role of electrical communication among those neurons, which is something that uh, we're only now starting to understand and that is very promising. Scientists have known for years which part of the brain lights up when we experience fear. Now researchers from the Florey Neuroscience Institute are using animals to explore how the brain processes emotions like anxiety. These rats have been trained to be scared of their environment. They're literally frozen with fear, while these rats are happy exploring their new surroundings. Scientists say drugs already on the market to treat malaria can work on the electrical communication in the brain, blocking it and removing the fear. We found them to be uh, very efficient in blocking fear responses to a particular environment that the, the, rats, the rat was trained. But the difficulty is how to block irrational fears without losing the fear we need as a survival instinct. This is exactly what we want to, to understand so we can eventually come up with a solution, a treatment or uh, maybe different type of behavioural therapies for clinicians to use on people so they can treat those, those uh, unwanted fears. Experts in post-traumatic stress disorder say the research shows great promise. Research like this that looks at the mechanisms that underpin memory and emotional processing is very important. And as this body of information grows, we can use this to assist survivors with anxiety disorders. It's early days though, with any treatment for humans still many years away. Sophie Scott, ABC News.